Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I'm going to share how you can download and install fonts from the Silhouette Design Store directly onto your computer. I am using a Windows computer. I will also link additional information in the description below on a written tutorial on how to install fonts to your Silhouette library and actually to your computer, which will then be pulled into the Silhouette Studio software and accessible in the textile panel. With the changes to the Silhouette websites that we have been undergoing and going through, sometimes the fonts are not or designs are not being immediately synced or synced at all to the Silhouette library. You can still direct download and install and really for fonts, the only thing that gets installed into the Silhouette library is a little thumbnail that shows you what that font um, is name is. It is not any part of the actual font file. Those are installed directly to your computer fonts folder and that is where the textile panel pulls it from. So I'm going to show you everything from um, purchasing the font to downloading it. I will also link additional information in the description below on two ways that you can access your downloads currently as I record this in the Silhouette Design Store on the new website. So I am simply going to check out with this font. I'm going to click the Add to Cart button. It's going to add it to my cart. I need to come up to the top and then click on the cart, click on View and Edit Cart. And then I'm going to go through the process of purchasing. I'm going to proceed to checkout, scroll down on that page and click place order. It is going to pop up with my purchase and you can either click here on this order number. If I click there, it's going to take me to that order specifically, or you can click on my orders on the left hand side and it's going to bring up your orders and then you can open up the exact order you are looking for, click view order, and it will show you that font, or it will show you what you have purchased. You should see this little download button underneath each of these um, items that I have added to this order. I'm simply going to click on download. It is going to download to my computer. Typically for most users, it will download directly to your downloads folder. You can see this here on the computer. I personally have changed that on my computer so it asks me every time where I want to download it. So I'm simply going to select my desktop and I'm going to choose save. Now you can either access it up here in this little downloads thing that shows up or you can come out here and access it wherever you saved it. So here is the font that I have purchased. It is in a zipped or compressed folder. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to choose extract all on a Mac. You can double click on a folder to unzip that folder. Once I extract all, it's going to ask me where to extract that. I'm going to tell it where I'm going to choose extract and it's going to give me a folder that is unzipped. So you can see the difference here. This is the zipped folder. This is the unzipped folder. I'm simply going to double click on this to open the folder up, double click again on files, and you can see that this font file comes with a TTF font file or a true type font file. If you have the option to install the open type font file or OTF font file, that is the one you want to select. There is a difference in the number of characters that different font files can have. This one is going to include just a, the normal characters for a typical font like 26 characters, um, but OTF font files can have all of those special glyphs and be larger font files. That's an explanation just quickly of those two differences. So I'm going to right click on this font and for a Windows user, you want to use the option that says install for all users. Because of changes with Windows 10 and Windows 11, if you use this basic install, it may not install for all programs on your computer. So I'm going to come down here, or if you have multiple users who access the computer, it won't install for all of those users. But it also affects certain programs. So if you come down to the bottom and choose show more options, 
you can get this option that says install for all users. I'm going to click on that and it's going to install the font. My Silhouette Studio software is open. I need to close this and reopen it in order for that font style to show up. So I'm going to close that and then reopen it. Once the new software or once the software has opened, I'm going to then click on the text tool, left hand side, just going to type a te uh, test here so you can see this. I'm going to fill this with color so it's easier to see. And then that font is installed and it should open in your textile panel when we click on this. Now fonts do load into the Silhouette Studio software when you first click on this textile tool. So depending on how many fonts you have in your computer, installed on your computer, it could take some time to open. If you type in a name up here or you select a font and it defaults back to the default font, which mine is set to Arial, that means it has not had time to load all of those fonts. This font name, according to this, was Halloween Thick Brush Font. I'm going to click back on it just so that I can see who Gina Marshall. So we're going to first look under the font name for Halloween I'm just going to type up here, if I can type spell correctly, Halloween earrings. Um, let me come back here. Halloween thick brush. And I want to look for that one specifically. Thick brush font is right here. Click on that and there is the font installed. The reason I looked to the designer was is because sometimes the font will be named something different than what you actually see. Computers cannot have the same font name for multiple fonts. So designers have had to get creative and this is an example, Lori Whitlock's fonts come in as LW. Um, so I was just verifying that. So if you are not seeing the font after you have installed it onto your computer, make sure to check under alternate names such as the designer's name in front of that font style and see if you find it there. So hopefully those tips have helped and helped to navigate these issues that we are facing with the Silhouette website migration and updates. While this is a way to work around the Silhouette website issues currently, it is also how you install fonts from other sites. As well as with the addition of premium fonts to the Silhouette Design Store, you may need to install the font directly, even if once your library is syncing correctly, that fonts will show up in the fonts folder here. Again, this fonts folder only is a thumbnail of the image that of your font file. So while it is nice to have and see in there, it only is for Silhouette Design Store fonts. And it's simply an image of the thumbnail. You can still install the font directly on your computer and it will show up in the text style panel. For those premium fonts, in order to have access to the full font file, so some of those premium fonts have 300, 600, 900 glyphs to them. That is what the OTF font file contains. That is needed to be installed directly in order to install the entire font file completely and for you to be able to access it. So you may see that in the future as well if you are purchasing those styles of fonts. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.